a budget 4K dash cam? Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out this. This is the AZ Dome GS63H. It's a 4K GPS dash cam. It does everything you want in a dash cam, and it's incredibly well priced. So, turns out it actually you can use it and experiment with it and get all the settings right even if you're not in your car which is a real blessing because it's really hard to record this in my car when it's 100 degrees out so we're going to switch to a different locale and then i'm going to give you lots of demos and hands-on let's go ahead and do that man it's hot in my car i am so glad to be inside where it's a little cooler so let me tell you a little bit about the dash cam, but actually even before we do that, let's just go look at some demos because I know that's what you really want. First off, daytime driving. And yeah, I've sped it up a little bit just to make it a little more visually interesting. Now I'll switch to nighttime driving and the results weren't as good, but it's also a very budget dash cam, so that's worth keeping in mind as you watch this footage. It's really all about that demo, and honestly, the nighttime footage could be a little better, but it's really just my headlights that are illuminating everything in front of me, so that's kind of the way this works. Now, as I said, it does have a built-in battery, so it gives us the ability to turn the device on without having it in the car, which turns out to be a real blessing because it's hard to actually have it and be using the on-screen controls. In fact, let me go ahead and give you some close-ups so you can see what's going on. We're gonna start with a tour of the edges, and on the left side is the micro SD card and the power button. And then on the top is the slider for however you want to mount this, and an AV in plug. And then on the right-hand side is the mini USB, kind of an interesting choice for a connection for power, and there's an HD out if you want to actually use this, you know, hooking it up to your TV or something directly. And then on the bottom, there's just a little couple of cutouts for the speakers. And then on the back, as you can see, there are five buttons on the bottom and it does give you the ability to actually go and change settings and turn things on and off. And that's really hard to do <laughs> when you're using this tiny device. So I found it much, much better and much easier to actually have this go into Wi-Fi mode, connect it with my phone, and then modify all my settings using the AZ Dome app. But before I get there, let me just give you some more information. It's a 2.4 inch color screen. The buttons, as I've shown, are along the bottom. And you can record up to 2880 by 2160, which is what 4K resolution is as video. It includes Wi-Fi capabilities, so you can hook it up to your phone without having to actually suffer through yet another wire, which is handy. It has a built-in GPS, so I hope you noticed the geolocation, uh, lat-long information at the bottom of those videos. It has wide dynamic range, and I have to say, I found the daytime footage to be excellent. It's really clean and crisp and bright, and it's not blown out where the sun is or anything like that. 170 degree wide angle, it's a very wide angle shot. You get everything, including your dashboard. <laughs> so positioning is something you're gonna wanna adjust and just get just so. Um, there's a parking mode with a G sensor, so the reason it has a battery is it can actually sit and monitor for 24 hours, and if your car is jarred or jammed or hit or something, it'll turn on, record for a couple of seconds, and then turn off again. So I did not test that. My car is not hit very frequently. Thank goodness. <laughs> but I know that's something a lot of people are interested in. As with all dash cams, it does loop recording. You can set it to be one minute, three minute, or five minute loop intervals. I found when I set it to five minute segments that it occasionally had a problem missing 
missing a few seconds between the end of one video and the beginning of the next. But then when I went back to the default of three minutes, then it worked perfectly and I never lost a single second of footage. 24-hour uh, parking monitor, already mentioned that. Super night vision, well, that's what they say. Uh, maybe I had to enable something, I don't know. I don't think I had to do that, but in any case, you saw my nighttime footage. And in terms of the micro SD, it supports up to 128 gig, which is gonna give you a lot of footage. That's a lot of video to record. Now, one more thing before I show you the app is let me show you everything that's in the box. So you get the dash cam, you get the suction mount, which is pretty nicely designed. You get a 12 volt adapter for power. Um, the nice thing is a lot of cars now just have USB 3. So this super long USB 3 to mini USB cable is going to be plenty enough for you not only to have it on your dash and have it plugged into your cigarette lighter, as we used to call them, but to actually tuck the wire in and have it go around so that you have a nice, neat and clean installation. It's plenty long enough for that. And then finally, it also includes a mounting kit. And in here are a bunch of sticky tape sided wire holders and a little blue plastic gizmo that if you don't know what that is, it's to tuck things behind some of your trim in your car if you really want a, as permanent an installation as you can. So that's everything. Now I'm gonna need to actually plug this in because <laughs> the battery is actually going away right now. And then I can show you this screen and show you my phone, the app, and you'll see how it all fits together. So. Let me go get some power. All right, we're not in the car, but I do have it powered up. And again, having it be USB 3 instead of requiring this sort of adapter is super convenient. You could plug it into your computer if you wanna do that for accessing files or modifying your settings. So it's showing my shirt. So you're seeing a sort of light green here. Um, but most importantly, I can turn on the Wi-Fi pair it with my phone, go into the AZ Dome app, and then modify things. So I'm gonna do just that. So to do that, I choose menu and push it a second time. And then there's up and down arrows. So I choose Wi-Fi and on, and now it's in Wi-Fi mode. There's not much to see here, but the important thing is I can now go to my phone and they have Android and iPhone apps. And there it is, AZ Dome GS63H. I choose it, it's connected, and now I can go to the app, AZ Dome, and I'll tilt this up so it's a little bit more interesting to see what we're seeing. Okay, and now I choose the dash cam, and it connects, and now you're seeing on the phone what I'm seeing <laughs> in that direction. So that is really nice. So you can preview and you can even go full screen. And why would you want to do this? Because this is how you best position the dash cam to make sure that it has a level horizon and that you have it in the best possible place in terms of pointing towards the front of your car and in terms of that sort of up down having it be in the best possible position now once you've accomplished that then you can go into things like settings and i'm going to tap on the little gear icon on the top right and oh i have to stop the recording first all right we'll do that then i'll tap on the gear icon and now you can see this huge number of different settings and really they're all accessible from the device itself but it is so much easier to do this sort of thing from your phone. So I can change photo size. You can see they support a lot of different sizes. Oops, that's, I think I did the wrong thing there. Let's turn off recording. Let's go back to settings. Let's go to visio, uh, video resolution. And here again, there's a lot of different choices. Why would you want a smaller or lower resolution when you have a 4K dash cam? Because it gives you the ability to store and record even more. So you might want to have a week's worth of driving record 
on your dash cam. That might be more than your 4K video will allow you to do on your micro SD card. So this is one way you could step it down. Uh, here's your loop recording, the different increments. I'm sorry, I said one, three, and five. Apparently it's three, five, and 10. Three minutes is the default and I've had the best results with that. And then you can turn on things like um, the wide dynamic range. And as you can see, there's motion detection. If you do that, any of those sort of things like with the G sensor, those generally are involved with hardwiring your dash cam into the power of your vehicle. But there's just quite a bit that they let you access here and that's really helpful. So what I wanna do is I want to talk about the one thing we haven't yet addressed that's really important, and that's the price. So you've seen the demo, you've seen the great daytime footage, the okay nighttime footage. You can see there's a ton of configura configuration options, comes with everything you need to get going. There's an optional rear facing camera you can install. You would have to purchase that separately. But the question is, how much does this thing cost, right? People like dash cams. All of my kids want to put dash cams on their cars too, just so you have a record if you get into an accident or something. That's just good planning. But before I get to the price, I'm going to ask if you could subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you do that. A tap or a click on that red subscribe button and leave me a comment letting me know if there's anything else you wish I would have demoed. I am not going to have someone hit my car so we can test that feature out. Sorry. <laughs> but otherwise, tell me what you'd actually have appreciated me to show. Now, with all that in mind, and it's still recording, this is the AZ Dome GS63H 4K GPS dash cam, and it is a remarkably inexpensive $109.99 at Amazon.com. For $100, this gives you a lot of flexibility, really crisp daytime video, and the fact that it does like built-in GPS and everything is really pretty sweet. There's really a lot to like about the AZ Dome GS63H 4K GPS dash cam. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in my car and we're gonna go for another drive. So I'll catch you in my next video.